Mark, what are we looking at here? So this is the SRK from Arkimoto. Arkimoto is a, we're an Oregon-based company building ultra-efficient vehicles with the aim to help catalyze the shift to a sustainable transportation system. And this is an electric motorcycle, isn't it? It is. A, a three-wheel vehicle is technically a motorcycle uh, here in the U.S., uh, but it has things that a lot of motorcycles don't. So it's got three wheels on the ground. It has a, a very low center of gravity, dual motor front wheel drive. So it's actually a front wheel drive vehicle. And then roll cage, crumple zones, uh, comfortable seats, harnesses for both passengers. So it's, it, is a, it is an ultra efficient electric vehicle that's actually designed to, for all the kind of daily trips that you take, to, the, to work, to school, to the movies, to solve that daily driving problem in an incredibly efficient, very affordable way. It really is a mobility solution and it's got the things that you know a non-motorcycle driver would like, like safety belts. Yeah, so it's got a three plus two so a, a harnesses, so a three point over one shoulder, a two point over the other for both passengers. Um, and, and it's really, a, it'll go freeway speed like a motorcycle does. Um, but it, 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 from a ride experience, it's, it rides more like a, a quad meets a, a really nice sports car. So it doesn't, it doesn't lean like a motorcycle would. It, it has a very level ride experience. And uh, with something like a 70 mile range, it'll cover most uh, commutes, I assume. Yeah, so, so the typical driver in America drives 33 miles in a given day. And if you know, we, we have the base model at 70 miles, that covers actually a huge amount of the population. We also have an upgraded range option available of 130 miles. Again, if you live like in the Bay Area and you've got a, a pretty stretched out commute, you can have a, a, a longer range option available. And so speaking of available, when will this uh, be available? So, so this vehicle is an alpha prototype of our eighth design generation. Uh, we're planning on building a beta fleet that'll be a, a slightly larger kind of early pre-production fleet this year. And then we're targeting actually entering full series production end of 2016. And so uh, from a capital perspective, you know, building vehicles and distributing them is always a huge undertaking. How do you do that? Absolutely. Well, and, and it, I think it's important to remember that the scale of a motorcycle endeavor is actually quite different than uh, a, an automobile company. Automobile companies, Tesla, Faraday, Ford, GM, a new, a new platform is a billion dollar plus exercise. Motorcycle companies, much more capital efficient, uh, but still a pretty big, pretty big lift. So um, our, our funding to date has all been angel investor and uh, institutional, some institutional capital. We're actually planning on doing a larger raise in order to go into full production later this year. And so from a cost perspective, these things are pretty affordable, right? Absolutely. So we're targeting an $11,900 base price. And the, the whole point of Arkimoto from the very beginning has been to de deliver a product that helps, again, move us to a sustainable transportation system. You can't do that if people can't actually buy it. So when we think of affordable, we're not talking about a $35,000 car. That's, that's actually 35,000 bucks. That's a lot of cash for an average American. Uh, we're thinking something that is much more attainable, something that falls within the price range of you know, your typical used car or a motorcycle or you know, sort of that toy price range, but has the functionality that you need every single day. And uh, you guys being up in Oregon, you get some rain up there, but this, you're saying this protects you, huh? Absolutely. Well, so like, you know, like a Jeep or a ATV or whatever, you'll be able to put you know, side panels on if you want full protection from the weather. But even in, a, even in the rain, the full fairing and the, and the kind of nose cone window actually keeps you very dry. And I assume that because it's uh, electric, it is also very electronic and very connected. Absolutely. Well, and, and it's, it's always that balance between, you know, where do you really put the energy in terms of technical complexity? So we have a dual motor front wheel drive set up, uh, actually independent motors for each of the front wheels. That lets us do a lot of cool things with torque vectoring over the long haul. Um, but from like a sat nav perspective, we've just got a really front and centered mount for your phone. So a lot of the a lot of the technology you need for getting around is in your pocket, uh, and and in order to hit that low base price, we've really had to focus where we're spending the dollars into what's most important for the ride.
Excellent. Well, I wish you luck, and uh, I'd like to take it for a ride next. Awesome. We'll, let, we'll, we'll get you. Uh, we'll get you behind the handlebars. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. When, when we're not in the middle of the building. <laughs>